will be making an adorable poofy deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have a wreath ring, this adorable sign for the center, green, white, and orange deco mesh, Chanel stems, I have green, white, and burlap ribbon, scissors or a rotary cutter, and a hot glue gun. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so first thing I'm going to do is place my stems on my wreath. Now, there are several methods you can use to place your stems. I will link all of the methods I've used in the description box down below, but just go with whichever method you prefer. I like all of them just for different reasons. For this specific wreath, I'm going to use half of a stem and I'm going to twist it around the outer two, inner two, outer two, inner two, and alternate all the way around my wreath. So for the first one, I'm going to twist it like this. And then I'll come to the inner two. And if you want, you can even use the center two. Again, the possibilities are endless. have all of my stems in place I'm going to start with my orange and green mesh and I think I'm gonna put the orange on top I'm gonna layer them one on top of the other fold it to a nice little point and I'm going to start on the outer ring and I'm going to go from one outer stem to the next all the way around my wreath and then I'll do the exact same thing on the inner ring so place my mesh, twist it a couple of times, make a nice little poof. The size of the poof, it's completely up to you. You can go with larger, smaller, whatever you prefer. And then place your mesh in the very next outer stem and twist it a couple of times. So I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around my wreath. Try to make your loops as uniform as possible. They do not have to be the exact same though, but as close as you can get them. And also keep in mind what size loop you make will determine how much mesh you use. So always have a little extra on hand, just in case. And you can use this method with, um, this is six inch mesh. You can also use 10 inch mesh and even 21 inch mesh. If you want a really thick and poofy wreath, then you would go with the 21 inch mesh. stems will move a little bit the more mesh you get placed the more stable they will become but don't worry about it too much you can always adjust it again once you're done so once you come back around to your starting point you're just going to make one more poof and twist it into the stem that you started with and then you can either cut away the mesh or just continue on on the inner ring whichever you prefer I have actually done both it just depends on what you want Make sure when you place your mesh, you unravel, place your mesh, and then twist it back. So again, you can cut the mesh off here and start over on the inner ring. And then we're just going to repeat the exact same steps on the inner ring. You can tuck this away. It'll, it won't be visible once you get all the other mesh and everything added to your wreath. So don't worry. have all of my mesh on my reed. Now I'm going to cut more of my orange and green into eight inch long pieces 
And I actually decided that I'm going to add in a little burlap. Since my sign has some brown in it, I'm going to add in a little burlap just to bring out the sign a little more. But I won't add burlap to every single stem, just maybe every other stem or just like a few pieces throughout. I'm going to see what it looks like. But what I'm going to do, so I'm going to roll my mesh into a cute little curl. You can use a curl, you can do a diagonal, whatever you prefer. This time I think I'm going to go with the curl just because it looks so cute and precious. And then roll my orange to a curl. So I have two cute little curls. I'm going to crisscross them, scrunch in the center, find my stem, and place my mesh. And then I'm going to twist it again and tuck away my stem because I'm not going to add anything else to it. If I was going to come around and add more mesh or ribbon or anything, then I wouldn't tuck it away until I'm completely done. So the next bundle, we're going to have orange and green. And I'm going to add in my burlap ribbon and scrunch. The burlap is um, in an eight inch long piece. I could have gone with six or seven since I'm using the curl and not a diagonal for my mesh. So whatever you prefer. I'm going to place that bundle in the very next stem, twist it, and then tuck it away. And I'm going to just do this all the way around my wreath. I always like to go with the inner ring first and then add to the outer ring, but it really doesn't matter, it's whatever you prefer. So I have placed all of my bundles. You can definitely go with more or less, whatever you prefer. I decided to only go with just a few pieces of the burlap just to add in a little pop of brown. You can also separate the layers of your poofs if you choose to do so. I always like to do it, well, I do it a lot just because it makes the wreath even like poofier and fluffier, but you can definitely keep them layered if you choose to do so. But it also helps you to be able to see all of the colors that you have. So I'm just going to separate my layers really quick. All right, just like that, it looks so cute and poofy. Now we are just going to add our adorable sign to the center. I just added just a few pieces of burlap and then I added mesh to each section you can go with whatever you prefer if you want to go all out and add tons of mesh and burlap and other embellishments you can definitely go for it eggs ribbon carrots whatever you prefer all right so i have my sign and i'm just going to remove the stake at the back of it take a stem for the top and one for the bottom I'm just going to hot glue it in place going to add it to the center of our wreath and just make sure you have enough of the stem hanging off of the side so that you can easily attach it to your wreath so I'm just going to kind of push my mesh outward just a little bit so I can snugly fit my cute little sign in the center and then you're just going to push the mesh aside and attach the stem to the actual wreath ring and repeat this step for all four stems. All right, so once I have all of my stems attached, I'm just 
shaping up my wreath, making sure I fill in any gaps or spaces, making sure I like how my ribbon is sitting and everything. And again, you can definitely add more embellishments if you want to add like carrots, eggs, ribbon, bows, whatever you prefer. Just have fun with it and make it your own. But it's so cute, simple, and easy to make. Modify the colors, the style to fit your thing.